Why is Franklin flashing? Hey, Mike. It's Franklin, man. I'm following the architect. All right. Don't fuck it up. All right. Oh. Oh, I need to get in the fucking car. Shit. You're listening to Blonde. Yeah, thanks a lot. Site inspection. Architect on site. And don't mind me. Hey! Building code, get a hard hat. You can fucking suck my hard hat. <laughs> Building's been ordered in construction for ten years. You're kidding me. The bedrock ends there. We need caissons on the east side. Ah, uh, no drama. It's a government contract. We'll be paid until completion. I ain't taking a fall for this screw up. It's a government contract. No one's taking a fall. Except the government. Stand out. Who's that? Ah! Who's that? <laughs> Excuse me, boys. That was very easy. I do, home. Here, thank you. So, all good? Sure, homie. So, is this shit for real? We just gonna rob the FIB and be allowed to walk by your boys like that? Yeah, I don't fucking know. Probably not. All right, Lester, what do you got? Uh, I don't quite know yet. Give me a minute. I'm not a fucking computer. Oh. Oh. Oh, maybe I am. <laughs> Here's what I think. We have two options. The new security software goes into containment mode in case of emergency, you know, uh, earthquakes, mudslides, acts of God. So, 
to plant some fire bombs. They go bang, the emergency call goes out, we hijack it, show up as firemen, and then we grab the containment drive. Or we could hack the system on site. We'll go in by, uh, by air. Uh, hope we don't run into too much physical resistance. Sounds relaxing. Either bombing our office ran by a division of corrupt government psychos or defeating one of the world's most complex security systems using our worthless ass ninja skills, huh? Yeah. Any, many, money, mo. If you favor the firebomb containment drive option, you'll go in with that janitor's ID you picked up. It'll be at night when most of the workers are off. You mop the place and plant the bombs where we need them. Seriously? I got a mop? Yeah, yeah, you really do. They'll clock you on the cameras if you're play acting. You also need a fire truck to show up in when the bombs go off, and a getaway car stashed in a quiet place near the bureau so you can torch the truck and get out. The car doesn't have to be anything special. There shouldn't be any heat. Well, what about the other way, with the uh, ninja skills? Now you choose that route, you won't be using the janitor's gear, but we had to cover all the bases. Your FIB paymasters will have to provide you with a chopper and a pilot. Now you fly way up above the building, parachute in, and gain access through the roof here. Now you'll need to be armed to the teeth, mind you, just in case the uh, shit goes down. Mopping or parachuting? Wow, you're making this choice really difficult. <laughs> now Haynes has given us the leftover money from the Polito job to pull this mission, and the crew will be paid out of that. We keep the change. So, what's it gonna be? Fuck yeah, we're doing a goddamn roof uh, entry. Of uh, you'll need a, a hacker, a gunman, and a driver. The ha yeah, give me uh, page. My lucky charm from the jewelry store. Uh, I don't know how long it'll take you to get into the network. Uh, the gunman's there to buy you the time you need. Gus Moda. He's a pro. Not much else to say. The driver will be waiting outside on getaway. They'll source a vehicle, so bear that in mind. They did good Evangelico, remember? Okay. That all look good to you? You are robbing the FIB here. <laughs> Yeah. And we have a winner. I'll make the arrangements and call you when we're ready. All right, shit, hit me. You know, um, I'm still looking into that Union Depository gig. It's real interesting. But I don't know if we can do it without you-know-who. Uh, well, as long as he can't do it without us. Imagine after this Solomon mission, that will be when Lester calls us. He'll be like, hey, let's go rob the government. The fuck is this? I might be washing up the dishes. I am. 300 days a year of pub. Pop comes out of this town. Let's you either see. move to Los Santos to become rich and famous. Okay. Solomon. Or to charge five hundred dollars an hour as a therapist to the rich and famous. This Ooh. is non-stop pop musical therapy just for you. Breaking news. Violent agent found murder. Are you drinking manure? Flo says so. Violent talent agent Rocco Pelosi has been murdered. Pelosi oh, never mind. Like in five minutes, fine, we'll do Solomon's mission and then we'll, we'll still do the heist.
Fuck whoever parked that car there. I hate the panic. Hello, hello. Oh fuck. Good to see you, Slick. Devin. The hell are you doing here? It's over, Michael. You done good, kid. You kept this bullshit up long enough to help me trigger a fantastic insurance payout when the plug is pulled. I love you. You're you're like my spirit brother now. Where's Solomon? He's out getting the negatives of film, whatever the fuck it is. The last dinosaur in town is about to get fossilized. What are you talking about? Look, the movie's nearly done, so if the plug's pulled now, the investors, meaning us, get a massive insurance payout. Meanwhile, I can use that to get the other major shareholder, the old bastard's idiot son, to agree to tear this relic down and let me redevelop the area for condos. <laughs> and in this economy, the city's gonna let me build tax-free. I might even get some rebates. It is a brilliant thing, and it is all thanks to you and Molly's eye for the details of the insurance policy. Michael, they're fucking us. The suits, and they don't even wear suits. Wolves in turds clothing. Try not to take it too badly, Mr. Richards. Were you ever a human being? Look, people used to like films. Now they like what? Videoing themselves, beating off on their iFruit phone. Don't blame me. I'm a very spiritual person. I feel badly about this. But evolution is evolution. Gentlemen, Molly. Namaste. Can I take the film now, Mr. Richards? My plane leaves in 25 minutes. Can't we do something? At least let me finish the picture, then close the place down. I'm afraid our timetable doesn't allow for that. Goodbye, Mr. Richards. Where the hell is she going with that movie? She is taking the only copy offshore, somewhere nice and discreet. Analog. God, it's certainly got its complications. Michael, can you do something? No, he can't do anything, pal. It's an inevitability. <sighs> My wife got screwed by a yogi. And now I'm getting screwed by a yogi? Fuck that! I'm a producer! Nobody fucks with my film! Get to the airport, talk to him. That's it. I'm getting my fucking film back. Nobody steals my masters and gets away with it. I learned that from Taylor Swift. Slow it down, slick. You're not thinking. Fuck hey. off. <laughs> Damn it. Fuck it, go reverse. Whoop. long ass way to the airport. Dick. What's she doing? What the fuck? Oh. Oh no, I have a two star. Great. Go for it. Hell yeah, I'm going for it. Hell yeah, I'm going for it. <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit. Oh! <laughs> fuck it failed. What the fuck off? Oh, 
Come here, bitch. Oh. Guard for the armor upgrade. Oh, I'm leaking oil. Oh shit. No, no, no. Oh shit. I need the cop car. I need the cop car. <laughs> Go. Yeah, I know she's getting away, but I was looking at oil. I was gonna fucking catch her on fire, you dumbass game. Molly escaped. Did you hear that or catch on fire? Okay, we won't take the jump this time. Now, okay, hold on. He hit me. Bye-bye. Even. Clear the hangar. From this hey, come on! I'm just a white collar criminal, but he's a real one! Hey, 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 hey! Stop. Stop. Oh, stop! Look out! Oh. Ooh. No. All this mayhem was nothing to do with me. She was. I got what I came for. I'm leaving. Go. Come on. Take off. Come on. Come on. Go forward. Thank you. We're going. Well, we were. Come on. Come on. Please don't die.
Oh, shit. No, we're good. We're good. Just need this plane to survive a little longer. Why would a helicopter spawn there? Come on. There we go. Okay. Hop out. See, we're good. Perfect. That's how you do it. Hey, you know what? I'm gonna be cheese. Oh, can I not switch? Mm, fucker. Gotta swim all the way back. I'm amazed that that actually worked. I never expected it. Oh! I could fucking get one of those. Prefer dictation. Really? We're doing this now? I just watched Evan Weston's legal counsel get juiced in a jet engine. Oh, that Molly woman? Oh, Lord, that's horrible. You have no idea. She panicked, went crazy, and ran into it. But I saved the print, so we still got our movie. You believe that analog thing? It's all digital. We have backups everywhere. I mean, we're shooting on green screen. Well, you could have told me. I'm sorry. Look, I thought you knew. The edit's nearly done, and we've got to get it out before they can screw us again. I've greenlit a premiere. That will stop them from burying us. A premiere? For Meltdown? Okay. Can you invite my family? They can finally have something to be proud of me for. Of course. It's already on its way by courier. All right. Shit. I'll get ready. It was... An American divorce, by the way. The movie quote. Obviously. I can't wait to go home and exfoliate. Alright. I need a car. <laughs> hey, Sugar Plum. Daddy! I'm in trouble. What is it? Money? Drugs? Your mother. There's this guy. He's been following me around. I think he's about to do something. Where are you? Vinewood Plaza. Okay, wait there. He's been following me in my car, so let's just drive around and you can talk to him when he shows. Oh, yeah. We'll talk. All right. I need a car. 
Not the Winnebago, thankfully. You fuck ass. Give me your fucking... Get out. I like this car. I'm a third. I missed my turn. Ow. Let's see if we can find him. We should try over at Hawaiian Snow for him. Come here. Eat whatever you want. How you like that? Seriously. Non-stop pop is about doing what Hey, what are you running for, pal? Let's talk. Seriously. Weasel news. He's out of the car. Come here. Okay, two in the leg. Let's try three in the leg. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There we go. He dealt with. Screw it, mate. What happened, Daddy? 
Guy had an accident. I'm sorry. Didn't hurt. Didn't hurt. Didn't hurt. Stop. I can't believe you did that. What? We had to be sure. I just wanted you to speak to him. This was infinitely more persuasive. He never should have called you. Look, oh, you give me there's shit. There's a lot of sickos out there. I couldn't take the chance. I know there are sickos out there. My dad is one of them. Grow up, baby. It's time you got serious with your life. Yeah, I ain't perfect, but I love you. I guess he really scared me, but I, I didn't want... Well, then pretend it never happened. Like I try not to think about exactly what aspect of your creative expression enamored him so much. Okay, that's right. Denial kind of works for me. Good, that's my girl. Now, please, try to make better choices. Thanks, Daddy! Glad I could use my paternal rage productively for once. <laughs> Let's put away the fucking mini Uzi. Okay. Let's go raid the bureau. <laughs> I feel like over the last, over the series, my driving has actually not improved at all. I feel like I'm still a bad driver. <laughs> 